Aptera shares a juicy progress update toward reaching scaled solar EV production. Aptera continues to raise the funds required to support its body in carbon. Bin C assembly process through its current validation phase and beyond, with little over 500 of the 2,000 manufacturing slots remaining available. Though the busy firm has become accustomed to providing us with monthly updates, sometimes showcasing co-founder and co-CEO Chris Anthony, the summer was very quiet. With some exciting new upgrades, Aptera has reappeared in the public spotlight on YouTube, where it is most popular. Hello, and welcome to Hypeno, where we bring you the latest news briefings and analysis on EVs to keep you informed. This hour in focus, we are exploring Aptera Share's mind-blowing update in meeting its scaled solar EV production. But before we proceed, please kindly like and subscribe to this channel by clicking the bell notification feature below to help you to learn of your preferences and to receive notifications each time new videos are uploaded on this channel. Let's get started. As per Aptera's most recent progress report, more than 60% of the necessary tools and equipment needed to produce its Bing's hemp and acquired. This includes the priciest parts of the production process that take the longest to commission and deliver, such as the stamping dies and post-processing tools, shown above. Aptera is now building builds with production intent to continue solar EV certification now that stamping dies are in place. These cars, which will resemble the solar EVs that hopefully reach consumers someday, will be tested by the startup over the next few months. After connecting the front and rear subframes to the EV's structural battery pack, all six body parts will be completed and validated into a complete Vinci. Only then can the vehicle assembly process begin at Aptera's new plant, which is located close to San Diego, California. Apart from the progress report that you can see below, Aptera also released this animation with those assembly line graphics. To guarantee future passenger safety, extensive safety and crash testing will come first, then optimization and fine-tuning. Production intent testing and validation will come next. Aptera then intends to verify its solar EV production techniques in order to optimize the overall process. There is no official word on when production will start, but Aptera looks to be closer than ever, and it deserves a lot of credit for its network of investors and customers who see its potential. For a $10,000 down payment, Aptera is still accepting applications for approximately 540 production slots for the launch edition solar EVs. The CPC Group, Mabena, Italy, and Aptera, Carlsbad, Calif, U.S., inked a contract in November 2022 for Aptera to produce its specialized composite bodies in Mabena. The center of the Italian Motor Valley, where supercars and motorcycles have been passionately produced for decades. Bensi, or body in carbon. Aptera's consumer-focused CV will use materials and structures provided by CPC with most daily uses. It won't need to be charged, and a full charge can get it up to 1,000 miles in range. As an example of Aptera's commitment to simplicity, safety, and sustainability, the Bensi has an ultra-low CO2 lifespan because it only has six major parts. Glass SMC and carbon fiber sheet molding compound, CFSMC, make up the majority of the vehicle. A lightweight material called CFSMC allows for the molding of elaborately formed pieces, since it is made up of short fibers arranged randomly. It is said to provide significantly more strength and stiffness than typical SMC. This method, which may be press-molded, significantly shortens the Binks' manufacturing time, allowing Aptera to start shipping cars to consumers sooner. According to Franco Iorio, CEO of CPC, Aptera represents a shift away from conventional thinking of the past. We're joining Aptera's movement because we want to be a part of this future. We will be constructing the solar vehicle's bodywork, enabling Aptera to immediately increase production in order to satisfy the strong demand for its debut automobile. The CPC Group was established in 1959 as a tiny artisan business that produced models created entirely by the skilled hand of the model builder. In the past 10 years since moving from aluminum to composites, CPC has been known as a leading provider of specialized composite solutions for the automobile industry. Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren, Maserati, BMW, Lotus, and other brands are among the clients. 
Aptera has over 37,000 reservations and plans to start deliveries in 2023. At its final assembly plant in Carlsbad, California, the company plans to build up to a full-scale production rate of 40 vehicles per day. In January 2023, the firm unveiled the launch edition, marking the first wave of almost 40,000 orders for a fleet of incredibly efficient cars. EV but hasn't yet offered a definitive production schedule. With integrated solar panels, the Aptera three-wheelers range may be increased to 1,000 miles in certain models, which Aptera claims is strong enough to outpace several sports vehicles. Aptera was the first non-Tesla OEM to validate the usage of Tesla's NACS charging connector. It can also be charged conventionally. The car's manufacturer announced earlier this year that it had 40,000 bookings, with the first 5,000 being called launch editions. Other models are expected to arrive later. These will have a single engine that powers each wheel with a total output of 171 horsepower. A 42 co battery pack will give them an estimated 400 miles of range. The company currently claims that one of the first 2,000 build spaces may be obtained with a $10,000 investment. Although the precise date is still unknown, Aptera stated in its progress report that more than 60% of the essential equipment and tools required to create the carbon fiber body shell of the EV had been completed and commissioned. According to Aptera, the equipment that is being checked off first is stamping dies and post-process tooling, which have some of the longest lead times and costs of all the necessary production equipment. Aptera claims that parts for automobiles intended for production are currently being produced using tools and these parts will be utilized for validation and testing. The business stated that this will involve evaluating the airbags and temperature control system, as well as fine-tuning the suspension and software. It will also involve assessing the powertrain's longevity and efficiency. After that, there will be crash testing and production line validation. Aptera has experienced several false beginnings. After the cancellation of an earlier project 10 years ago, with its 2020 relaunch, Aptera promised a 2021 release date for the $25,900 three-wheeler. Aptera appears to be getting closer than ever to actually delivering cars to customers, according to its most recent report. In the most recent version, Aptera further asserts in the film that it is the inventor of curved solar panels for automobiles. Given that they made comparable promises, Sona Motor supporters might take issue with this. Since then, the German company has abandoned its solar car concept and is now concentrating on fleet technology that uses solar power. Netherlands-based solar EV startup Lightyear likewise found financial challenges and paused manufacture of its flagship Lightyear Zero, instead saying it will work toward achieving mass production year Lightyear. 